Hey everyone. So to get a Postgres instance, we're going to be using elephantsql.com. So head on over to www.elephantsql.com. Uh, so it's Postgres as a service. Um, so they allow Postgres instances in the cloud, many different data centers. We'll check that out. So go to log in, uh, create an account. You can also sign in with GitHub or Google. I am just gonna sign up with email. All right. And I'm gonna check the link in my email and I'll be right back. You should get an email like this in your inbox. Just go ahead and click the confirm email button. Great, so email has been confirmed. I'll just go ahead and set up a password here. Okay, right now I don't have any instances. So yes, I do wanna create one. We don't need to do a credit card. We're just gonna be using their free plan for this demo. Oh, same thing here. We don't need to put in our address um, because we don't need a paid plan. Uh, Tiny Turtle is the name of their free plan. And for the name, we can just do demo or whatever you feel like you want to. The name doesn't matter and you can change it later if you want to. Next step is to select the region. Uh, this doesn't matter too much but for demo purposes, usually picking somewhere that's geographically close to you is a good idea. Uh, so what's interesting about Elephant SQL is they run on different cloud providers in different cloud locations. So uh, you can't see this, but AWS, um, we have US East One, uh, U, uh, European Union West One, which is, which is in Ireland. Then on the Compute Engine side, Google Compute Engine, we have Central One, which is in Iowa, Azure Cloud by Microsoft, somewhere in Central US, I'm not sure, and then West Europe, and so forth. So for me, I'm just gonna pick the uh, US Central Iowa Google Compute Engine. And if you don't know what to pick, just pick that one. That one's fine. Cool, so then review. Uh, no confirm or uh, configuration on the tiny turtle plan and let's go ahead and create our instance great so that's what we needed to do and the checklist item for this is to get this right here this is what's called a connection string uh, Basically, it's the username, password, host name, port, and name of database. So this will allow us to connect to our uh, database in the cloud in a future video.